Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the Wolf avatar, create any of the Wolf as the main avatar in Unreal Engine game project and also create any of the Wolf NPC in Unreal Engine game project. First you can have the, the Icon 7s. In the Icon 7 I will select the prop here. Click here, click the template and click the prop. Go to the Animal World tree. You should be able to see a wolf at there. You drag out the wolf. Next, you must make sure that your Unreal Engine game project already installed the Icon Unreal Live link. At the same time, you check your Icon 7. In your Icon 7, you must have the Icon Unreal Live link. Next, you must make sure you untick everything first and then you only tick the wolf. Once you tick the wolf already, you click transfer the file and you check in your Unreal Engine. You need to wait for a while until it finished transfer to Unreal Engine. Now you can see it finished transfer already. It will be under content, Real Illusion content folder, the wolf. And you can see a skeleton mesh is here, but we are not going to use this. The next step in your Icon 7, you click edit you must select the wolf and click edit in 3d exchange you must click here edit in 3d exchange in your 3d exchange you minimize everything first in your 3d exchange here you click export export as fbx file. Before that, in your desktop, you right click and create a new folder here. You name this as wolf01. So open the destination folder here. Next, in your 3D exchange, you click export fbx. The target tool preset, you must choose Unreal Engine. The file name you put as wolf01. For this time, you exclude the animations. The destination you put is copy, control C to copy, and you paste it here, the destination, control V to paste. Then you click OK, and click OK. This time it export as FBX file. Next you export the FBX again. The FBX file, the target tool preset you choose, the Unreal Engine as well. The file name you put as Wolf01. For this time, you exclude the geometry, you only include the animations. The destination still the same, you click OK. You click OK. Alright, next. You go back to your Unreal Engine. You go to the content folder, create a new folder named Animal. You double click the Animal here. You right click and create a new folder, name it as Wolf01. Wolf. Zero one. Enter the folder, and then at here, we drag in the wolf zero one fbx first, and then here you click import all, and wait for a while. Now it is importing. Once it finished imported already, the wolf zero one is here. You need to wait for a while until all the texture, all the shader have finished compile. Now you can see all of the texture already finished compile, what they call finished compiling the shader in Unreal Engine. You can see the Wolf01, you double click in and have a check. You hold the alternate to turn it on. You can see the texture have some problems. So here you need to change from the Wolf to the Wolf material instance. Now you see all the texture are okay already. You click close. Next, you create a new folder here. Right click new folder here. You name it as animation. Enter. And then you import all of these animations into here. Drag in. Remember the skeleton you must choose Wolf01. Wolf01 skeleton. The animation length you must choose animated time. Next, you click import all and wait for a while until it finish 
transfer and finish import. Now you can see already finished transfer. Then you should be able to see all, all of the animations. When you double click and check it, all the animations are ready. Next, what you are going to do is you back to the Wolf01 folder. You double click the Wolf01 skeleton. Turn on the retarget manager. And then the select rig, you have to select humanoid rig and just save it. Close. Next, you back to the contents, go to the mana queen, character, mesh, double click this skeleton, click the retarget manager, and make sure you select the humanoid, then save, close. Next step, back to the mana queen folder, enter the animation. When you see the third person animation blueprint here, you right click, retarget animation blueprints and retarget it. Click the Wolf01 skeleton. Click retarget. At this moment, it will come back to the content folder. Next, what you are going to do is rename the third person animation blueprint. Right click rename, add underscore behind and add in wolf01 enter next make sure you turn this on the navigations under the animal folder you have the wolf01 animations you are going to move all of this into the animation folder you click the first one hold the shift buttons click the last ones drag and drop into the animation and click move here Next, you want to make this wolf to become the main avatar and NPCs in the game, you have to go to the third person blueprints and enter the blueprint folder. You can see a third person character, you right click and duplicate it. And you rename it by adding an underscore behind, name it as wolf01. Enter. Next, double click in, double click in, click, click the mesh, click the viewport, the skeleton mesh, you have to choose the wolf01. Then you move it back a little bit so that the capsule will be at the center. The animation class, you have to choose the third person animation, the third person animation blueprint, wolf01. Next, you click Compile, Close. Next, you back to the Content Folder. Enter the animals, the Wolf01. Under the animations, you can see a third person either runs. You double click it. And then here, the first point. You see the Wolf01 either you drag and drop into the first point. The next one, Wolf Walk, drag into the, the second point. And the last point here, the Wolf01 runs. Then you put into here. Now you can just save it and close. Finally, you want to make the Wolf to become the main avatar. You have to delete the Mana Queen from the map. You press delete buttons. Next, you go to the edit, go to project setting, go to the maps and modes. Under the default point class, this is the main avatar of the game. Here, you choose the third person character, Wolf01. Consider done, it automatically save, and you can close it. Now, you save and you, you try to play test the game. You can see now the main avatar already become the wolf. This wolf is the main avatar of your game now. See, this wolf can run, can walk, and have the idle animation as well. And you can play this wolf as as the main avatar. And next, we are going. I'm going to show you how to make it become the NPC. You can just go to. 
uh, okay now you are at the animation folder here you can drag the either to here you can press E to rotate it etc now this is an NPC when you play the game now you can see an NPC wolf is here now sorry this one's actually is a wrong selection you must choose the wolf 01 either or wolf 01 it now you try to play again you can see the NPC should have a certain animation at there and the animation can change and update from time to time if you are ch using the blueprint to, to program it now you have two NPC wolf and the main avatar is is a wolf as well and that's all for today about how to create any of the wolf main avatar in your game project or create on any of the wolf NPC in your Unreal Engine game project and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animations and game developing you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.